The very first thing that comes to mind once you hear Clive Davis opening up about his sexuality are the top comments saying he definitely did something to Diddy, definitely two words Diddy's mentor, so it looks like the rumors about Diddy are getting real juicy, apparently he might be getting cozy with Clive Davis, who, who's not just a music mogul, but is also rumored to be Diddy's sugar daddy and more. I mean, who saw that coming well, a lot of people, but now we got some more found. Dation to the suspicions that have been around for over a decade. All right, buckle up for some talk about Clive Davis, the brains behind P. Diddy's empire. If you've been scrolling through the online world lately, you're probably caught up on the whole drama with Cassie dropping accusations on Diddy. So, Cassie took legal action against Diddy, aiming for some undisclosed cash for the roller coaster of trauma she went through during their decade long relationship while folks always had suspicions about Diddy. Diddy being a bit sketchy, nobody really pointed fingers at him until Cassie spilled the tea she accused him not only of getting physical, but also turning her into his own personal love puppet. Cassie spilled that Diddy used to have these so called freak offs where he'd have her hook up with random. Dudes he found on the internet she claims Diddy just chilled in the corner, hand hands to himself playing the spectator, and get this Cassie alleges she had to be on some heavy substances just to go along. These freaky shenanigans, now here's the twist, instead of Diddy facing the music and paying for his supposed sins, he did something unexpected within a jaw-dropping 24 hours of the media buzz. Around Cassie filing the lawsuit, Diddy slid into her deem s and decided to settle out of court. And word on the street is it could be a fat check. Maybe even $50 million usually lawsuits drag on longer than a Marvel movie, right? It's bizarre, especially considering what Cassie threw at Diddy, even though Diddy sw- Ears, he's innocent. He tossed some cash her way to keep her quiet pronto this move kind of screams guilt, doesn't it? Why drop stacks if you've got nothing to hide? It's like Diddy's admitting there's more dirt under the rug Cassie after over a decade with Diddy has seen the grim truth the shady stuff he's into, and you bet she's got the lowdown on some seriously messed messed up things, but hold up despite all this blowing up, it seems Diddy's going to slither out of this mess by next month, this story map. I be old news, especially considering how powerful Diddy really is in the music biz on the day Cassie's lawsuit made headlines TMZ dropped a bomb claiming the NYPD was checking out some case files on Diddy related to an essay case people thought it was linked to Cassie, but plot twist. TMZ later backtracked saying the NYPD denied any investigation into Diddy. It's like they're scared of him or something Diddy's got the magic touch making criminal investigations disappear. Like it's a magic show and cute. Heck, this Cassie actually slapped a restraining order on Diddy after their split. Maybe to keep herself safe from the big bad wolf we're not saying Diddy cares about a piece of paper, but he knows if anything happens to Cassie all fingers would be pointing at him. It's a wild world out there and if Diddy decides to make a move, he'll probably wait for the perfect moment like he did with Kim Poor Porter, blame it on substances or maybe a case of pneumonia worked before. Riddy's a real monster sh- Al casing everything that's messed up in the music industry little did most folks know he had a mentor who shaped him into the beast he is today. All right, let's dive into the wild world of music execs and their secrets. So most of y'all have probably heard about the big shot Clive Davis and his impact on hip hop back in the 90s. He was the mastermind behind acts like TLC, Whitney Houston and Brandy. But what you might not know is that Clive was the guy who took a chance on Diddy and his bad boy recovery. Arts thinking hip hop was going to blow up in the mainstream? Here's the scoop Diddy got the boot from Uptown Records and needed a new spot for bad boy inter Clive Davis. The man with the plan Clive not only funded Diddy's vision, but also took him under his wing becoming his mentor with Clive as his guiding force Diddy rose to become the hip hop mogul we know today hitting heights he probably wouldn't have reached without Clive's support. Now the industry's been buzzing for ages about the Diddy Clive. E Connection rumor has it that in a pivotal 1994 meeting, Diddy did more than just pitch music to Clive. Some folks in the biz claim Diddy got on his knees and did some, let's say, extracurricular activities for the big man. Whispers also suggest a secret romance between them for five years. For the longest time, it was just industry gossip with no proof, but hold up, everything changed in 2013 when Clive Davis spilled the tea in his memoir. He straight up admitted he's into both men and women openly confessed. 
talking to secretly dating dudes in the industry that pretty much confirmed the rumors that Diddy might have paid a dark price for his success. Looks like Diddy learned some shady tricks from his mentor Clive who took advantage of him just like Diddy does with artists today. And if you thought that was... While remember the claims made by Jaguar right against Diddy, she spilled the beans saying a former lawyer spilled some disturbing info about Diddy, the lawyer working for Diddy spilled the tea to Jaguar. Revealing that during a meeting with singer Christopher Williams, things got a little too extra, the lawyer needed approval for paperwork, walked into Diddy's office and caught Christopher Williams putting on a show for Diddy Jaguar story. Unconfirmed, but buzzing in the industry got some more. Credibility coups, she's not the only one hinting at Diddy's involvement in these kinds of activities. She also had only the worst to say about Clive Davis, according to her. He is hella deep in shady biz especially. With the Whitney Houston situation, Whitney Houston was grappling with her demons just before she passed away Clive Davis, who inked her first record deal when she was just 20 and collaborated with her throughout her career. Clive said that he and Whitney were together on the last two days of her life. She had given up smoking, how she had cleared her throat of nicotine, and she was wanting to start going in the studio. He never would have thought 48 hours before her death that she would pass that thing. He would be that horrendous premature end to her life, Clive Davis also said that Whitney was making a valiant attempt during that period to give up drugs and rehabilitate herself. The Los Angeles County Coroner's Office ruled her death, accidental sighting drowning, and the effects of atrochloritic. Heart disease and cocaine use toxicology results found other drugs in her system, including Badril, Xanax, and Cannabis, the movie that was made about Whitney in 2022. That's not a celebration of Whitney. It's something else. It's just profit of the mega rich like Clive who made their fortune off of the suffering of others. And strictly for the purposes of financial gain for those who have access to her estate, including Clive Davis. Including Clive Davis. Clive Davis. This ain't a film to celebrate Whitney Houston. This is a film to, uh, you know, pay the pay to, pay to buy her. He was the one trying to bring her back, though, at the time of prior to her death, right? Fuck it, him. Uh, he needed her back. He needed her back, but he needed her back and under his control. You want to know what fucking Clive Davis did for Whitney Houston? Why he was busy trying to bring her back? See, people forget. Before she came to All Right, Let's unravel this web of secrets and scandals in the music biz. So turns out Zibit spilled some tea too, claiming ditties into some unconventional party scenes. Word on the street is that Daddy once took Zibit to a gay club for a wild night out. 